Hey guys, it's Justin here from Jack Production Studios, and welcome back to another LEGO mock video. So this mock is my LEGO Transformers 5, The Last Night, Megatron, this is Megatron in Cybertronian jet form, that's the only form he has in the film. Anyway, so yeah, um, this Transformer was heavily inspired by Aeronobilis98, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. So, a good friend of mine, and he definitely helped me out through the process of making this guy, and it probably wouldn't have been possible without him. Yeah, anyway, so this figure is based off of the Voyager class toy that we got in the Transformers 5 toy line. Yeah, so to start off by showing his jet mode, um, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if the transformation happens to be really bad, because <laughs> I can't, I've tried it in the past, I can't really transform him in vehicle mode too well first try, or into robot mode first try. Anyway, so here he is in his jet form, um, let's start off in the front, I built his cockpit, there's a lot of studs showing up there, but I couldn't really work around that too well, um, yeah, there's his chrome gold, not chrome gold, uh, pearl gold cockpit right there, some more gold on the sides, vents, and then back here's, I guess, an engine, and built that out of just gold studs, um, in the back here, there's his fusion cannon, his arm assemblies, and then the, you know, the wings, and he has these, uh, I guess, engines, or th thrusters or something, yeah, thrusters anyway, then use these little fins that are up on either side of the wings. And yeah, there's not really much detail in the back of the jet, because it's just the top of the arms, or the shoulders. Yeah, so anyway, uh, now I'm going to get on to the transformation, and let's hope that goes well. Alright, so now on to the transformation. Um, just to make this a bit easier, I removed this fusion cannon, because that's a bit of a pain to get up out of the arm assembly on camera. But yeah, so... Anyway, that just uh, tapped in right there. Yeah, so to start off, you have to unpeg these arm assemblies. It's just a bunch of stud friction holding that together. Just hope you don't unpeg the rest of it. Yeah, unpeg those and drop those down. Just, I guess, let them fall, because they'll do that anyway. Hoping none of his jet mode is falling apart. I already had a hand fall off. I'll fix that in a moment. Anyway, so you unpeg those, then... Take the wing assembly and you unpeg this part and move those out to the side. And you do it on the other side. I don't really have the best setup for the camera right now. It's kind of hard to get the entire figure on screen. But yeah, so now you just have like this exploded back of his jet. I'm going to reattach this arm or his hand because that fell off. And there we go. So. Alright, now on to just, you know, how to transform all this. I'll uh, start off by just moving these arm assemblies up and out of the way. And focus on the legs. Alright, so with these legs, just uh, rotate this around. Hit with the feet, and then fold up the wings around the, around the legs just to make up his thighs. And then do the same on the other side. And there we go. Let's just uh, stand him up, and here's the underneath of him. Um, let's let the arm assemblies again fall back to the ground because those are not really in place yet. Um, so rotate these. These are going to be his skirt armor. Just rotate those around. Move the thrusters out one. Side, or just you know, slide them out. And do the same on the other side. Alright, um, so now you guys can kind of see his robot mode. I'm going to quickly stop the video here and just try to, you know, fix the camera setup. Right, it's not too much I can do, but anyway, now just on to... Yeah, it's transforming, like, the top part of him. Getting the shoulder assemblies up there. Um, we're going to move this cockpit down out of the way for now. Just to make that a little bit easier. Yeah, so bring up this first arm assembly, and you actually... Um, right here at this ball joint, rotate this around. I'm trying not to break this apart. Anyway, so rotate that around. Um, does this slide out one? I think it does. So bring this forward. I knocked off the skirt armor. And just do a lot of just like angling here. 
this moves out and pegged it. It just like folds out there and then connect it right there. Reattach this back here. Sorry about this, but by the way, I'll just do the other. It's the same thing on the other side, so I'll get that done off camera just to make this a bit easier. Anyway, you rotate the arm around and there you go. Just make sure everything is straightened out. Yeah, so do the other side and then just show you guys the rest of the transformation. Alright, so I got the other side done now, and uh, just for some final bits of transformation here, uh, you head over to the back, just take this cockpit, uh, rotate this around, just a ball joint inside there, and then this goes ahead and rests down on the back. If you do it right and don't peg it, which I think these assemblies have to go over. Yep, alright, so there we go. Those assemblies move over, and then this just rests right on the back and fills in that gap there. Um, this fusion cannon, you take this and it just pegs on right on the side of the arm here. And then one last thing is his head. And so you take this, rotate this around, trying to remove the sides of his face, and you go ahead and move down these bits here. Auto rotating, and angle these up, just fix this a little bit, and reattach his hand, because that keeps falling off. Alright, yeah, so uh, here he is in his robot mode, I'm just going to go ahead and straighten some things out, and, you know, get Alright, so here we have Megatron in his robot mode, um, yeah, so the transformation was a bit, uh, weird, I guess, it was difficult to get on camera. It's a lot easier if you're holding the figure in person, not trying to hold him nearly two feet away from you, trying to transform him on camera. So yeah, anyway, um, let's go over, I guess, his articulation and show you guys some of the details in the figure. So start off the articulation at the feet, and you guys can see all the details there. You know, he has ball joints at the ankles, so obviously 360 degree rotation and up and down, you know, side to side and all that. Uh, same with the other ankle and then knee, ball joints, so all that same... Uh, range of motion and then he has at the top here he can move his legs forward and back and then in and out you know it's another ball joint just a bit hindered by all of his uh, skirt armor there um and now into articulation in the shoulder another ball joint so 360 degree rotation in and out and, you know up and down all of that um then a ball joint at the oh gosh um ball joint at the elbow so same range of motion there and his fingers can move as well. You know, his uh, three fingers. I'll just show you guys the hand off. So here, here we go. Um, three fingers on the one side and then a thumb on the other. And that's the same on the other side. Um, just straighten him out. And yeah, so um, same range of motion there. I keep unpegging this guy in the back up here. I apologize for that. It's just he's a very fragile figure, like I said. It's not the easiest to get footage of. And yeah, then for the head, um, he's a bit of head rotation here too. Just obviously it moves up and down and then due to transformation it can move. Uh, just turn around I guess so you can get a little bit, you get some poses with him. I'm um, just going to stand him up and put him back here and do a size comparison now. And you guys saw the back during the transformation, it's just a bit of uh, vehicle mode junk. Alright, so for size comparison here, I'm going to bring in one of my custom minifigures. This is my Wonder Woman. And he stands almost to scale with a real life person. So quite like that. I managed to capture that. And he's also about the same size as a Transformers 5 Voyager class toy. Here's my Void Drop in this Prime from the last night. And I think Megatron's a tad bit taller. And then obviously his backpack, uh, the jet front, makes him look quite a bit taller. But yeah, anyway, so... I think that is really it for this video. Not much else to talk about with him. Just kind of a simple robot. More of a simple robot mode. Not really much to show off there, same vehicle mode. Then transformation is complicated. He has a lot of details, but obviously I can't go ahead and you know talk about him as long as I can, like a clone base or something. So yeah, um hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um I'm going to be trying to make more Transformers soon, like possibly an Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, uh, some other ones. Yeah, definitely go check out my friend Aaron Obelis. 
98 he helped me make this and uh, yeah so definitely make sure to go you know check out my other transformers and uh, other transformer and you know, other content on my channel if you're new and hit that like button subscribe comment down below if you you know have any comments on the figure and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time bye